Hello everyone, my name is Vigil, and welcome to episode 3 of our Hollow Knight Let's Play. So apparently, I don't know the difference between butterflies and moths, because if you look at that nautilus-shaped lamp up there, last video I called those butterflies, and then during editing I realized that they are most certainly moths. Yeah, okay, so this guy actually will change what he says. Elder Bug. They prayed at the Temple of the Black Egg. It's got faces, masks all over it, so I wonder what's up with that. <laughs> Everything fades eventually. I'm hoping to make some better progress in this one. I haven't gotten so much as an upgrade for my abilities or my weapon yet and I'm really looking forward to that part of this game I'm interested to see how they handle it so let's just go ahead and fall down the shaft like we're so good at doing check our map here Okay, so it looks like there's an unexplored section with a boss. I could be wrong, but that's what that looks like to me. I didn't think we could go much further to the right, but maybe that's where we'll head. We need the money anyway, so back up this long shaft. Really? Oh. oh, we can use that new shortcut that we opened last time. I'm really interested to see what this guy looks like underneath that mask. So we need to go down. There it is. Finally hit that move. Okay, here we go. Hmm. 
Let's see who's over here. Oh. Another one of those guys. Oh my gosh. Got swatted. Oh no. Okay. So he broke my soul. That's... That's terrible. I did not expect for him to be able to reach me right there. Well, that's death number one. Roll the death counter. It's a little frustrating. But I've been told this game can be pretty difficult, so... I'm not too upset about it. It wasn't even to a big boss either, it was like the little mini boss. Have I been this way? It's another one. I don't like your kind. Okay. Looks like there's something in here, though. Hey, a bench. That would have been useful last time. Okay, let's see what this is all about here. I don't have enough. Okay, let's see if I can get... Oh, okay. Shadow version of me. I expected more. But then again, maybe I'm not that good, so that's probably why. Holy Poly Slayer Extraordinaire. That's who I am. Okay, I don't like the look of this chamber. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump over something. Okay. What is that?
really? Get out of my face! Gosh. Okay, so you can't just DPS this guy. I'm glad that it lets me get my stuff back before I have to fight this guy again. Here we go. Oh my gosh! I swear I must have almost had him. Uh, the false knight will fall. Right now, I got his number. Maybe he's the first real boss because the other ones weren't so bad.
Awesome, awesome, full health. I can outrange those falling rocks. What? How does... Maybe I did beat him last time. I just didn't survive that last little bit. Do I... Do I have to kill him? Serves you right. City Crest. I wonder what that does. Also, if that's what I look like under my mask, I would rather I keep it on. What are you? Come back. Whatever. Money. I needed that. So what is this place? I don't know if I like the looks of of this. Something important has drawn you down into Hallow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. The Snail Shaman. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho. I would like a nasty little spell. Vengeful spirit. So it knocked me out. <laughs> Not as a repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're now friends. A great horde beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Alright. 
Whoa. I'm into that. I bet that it'll destroy that armored thing that was trying to sneak away from me earlier, too. Really? I should have known better by now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Skip all these guys and save my attacks for whatever horrid creature lurks down here. So that way I have plenty when I get there. I really like that downward slash move though, that's pretty useful. Yep, it's him. What do I do if I don't have any of that? can kill the little ones. Nope. That's frustrating. Okay, so it just leads right back around to here. Didn't get me that time.
Soul catcher. What does that even do? Can I look at that? Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. Awesome. That means if I combine that with my new power, I should be able to use it more often. Right, but I need to be at a bench first. Awesome. Alright guys, that about does it for this episode. Just to recap, we fearlessly faced the false knight when we found him. That was an astounding alliteration, if I do say so myself. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got this cool spell from the snail shaman that lets us blast things with our soul. I'm pretty into that. Anyway guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and if you would like to see more. You can also click the bell to get notified when I do anything. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.